Believe it or not, but this flash drive drifting on my table is a real computer. Not just some kind of bottle on Aero mobile processor, but on the mighty Intel Atom itself. Watch the video till the end and there I will tell you how can you play Cyberpunk with RTX on it. It cost me indecently cheap. It was sold for $22, and at first I was very skeptical about this proposal. I thought that something is not working in it, Bluetooth for example, or Wi-Fi, or there are some troubles with sound, but still I decided to buy it. After all, similar chocolate bars are much more expensive than what I bought. But when it came to me, I understood why it was sold so cheaply. But let's go in order, it's time for a review. Back in 2015, Intel released their mini PC called the Intel Computer Stick. This is its exact copy, only cheaper. According to my calculations, it cost around 2 balls of rice. So why is it so cheap? The fact is that the PC is quite old, it's 7 years old, it's very hard to find drivers on it. The only place where they remain is the official website of the manufacturer. But the problem is that only a resident of China can download them from there. In short, I spent two days of my life looking for drivers, but at one point I decided that it's time to reinstall Windows. I downloaded some weird, stripped down 32-bit version of Windows 10, and I was incredibly happy when I understood that PC found the driver itself. This stick's memory is negligible, only 32GB, so you can't install here full version of Windows 10. Of course, I wanted to install a 64-bit version of the OS, but then it dawned on me that the 32-bit BIOS of this device... Wait, why am I starting from the end? You are probably interested in the technical characteristics of this electronic cigarette. 4 cores, 2GB non-gaming integrated GPU, 2 USB ports, mini jack, SD card slot, 64GB its maximum, HDMI output for monitor, micro USB for 2A charging, yes, this device doesn't shine with its power, the Intel Atom processor which runs at 1.33GHz here is hardly enough to watch videos in Full HD quality, but as soon as you move the mouse the video starts to slow down wildly. But it's still more powerful than the overclocked Raspberry Pi, which I once had privilege of testing. Windows on such a poor hardware works more or less smoothly. Not as well as on a normal PC, but still, not bad. I noticed another small flaw in this computer, it's very hot, which is why it starts to throttle. For example, I decided to play and turned on CS1.6. I went to shoot bots and I start to have crazy logs. And this isn't because my PC is weak, just because of throttling, despite of the fact that the TDP of this processor is only a couple of watts. Disassembling this chocolate bar is as easy as shelling peers. The top cover is on latches, under it is the board itself and the processor is under this plate. If you remove it, you will see a thermal pad under which the CPU is located. Just look how small it is. Nevertheless, its efficiency is impressive. I will remove this plate and in its place I will put a heatsink sent by Homeless from Asus, which was on the chipset of very ancient motherboard. Its weight is 26 grams, which is equal to half of the weight of the computer itself. It weighs only 50 grams. I will just smear as much Femex 4 thermal paste as my grid will allow. I will cover the CPU with the radiator and that's it. I'm not even going to press it down with something. I connect everything that is possible to connect back to the computer and here the results I got. Well, now CS1.6 will definitely run smoothly here and indeed, the productivity has clearly increased by an order of magnitude. Now I can easily headshot all the bots I see. Oh, that was the perfect game. I will never forget it. Not like now the CSGO with that stupid skins for kids. Torturing bots is boring, let's go to public and warm up. FPS is certainly not great, but you still can play this game. You see how I punish these bots? Hands remember. It's amazing how many years I haven't played, but I haven't lost my skills. I decided to launch another iconic game and not surprisingly GTA Vice City works almost perfectly on this flash drive. Monitoring doesn't work, but it feels like there are from 40 to 60 frames. Well, I want to check something. Yeah, I remember that. If you don't understand what I just did, then most likely you will have to go to school tomorrow. What about my homie Carl Johnson? What version of the game wouldn't I download? I even tried repacks, nothing worked. 
and only one sheet with some Miami Beach mode started and worked fine. If you will find a normal version, you can play this game on the lowest graphic settings. I think it's interesting for you in how many times this Atom is weaker than my Xeon. CPU Z shows some insane values, just some 80 to 90 points. In fact, it's 6 times weaker. Whoever understand how I calculated this, well done, you can write your guess in the comments. Ok, let's move from CS and uh, other immortal classics uh, to some modern games, like Cyberpunk. I think you guessed what I'm talking about. GeForce Now. Unfortunately, I wasn't paid to advertise this service. And I'm wondering, will this flash drive be enough for cloud gaming? So I bought subscription and started running modern games. I also installed games in the background on the main PC for comparison. Cloud gaming requires a good internet connection, I only have 40 megabits. Although the program itself tells me that I have from 15 to 20 megabits per second. This is on my main computer and the internet is connected by wire. In this case, it's quite possible to play games. Sometimes there are drawdowns in bitrate and logs, but they happen infrequently. It's worth saying that in the evening by 8 o'clock a sanctioned DDoS attack is made on the GeForce Now servers by poor gamers who want to play something but at night, when DDoSers go to bed, it becomes normal to play, even with not good internet. The site even have a tariff, you pay less but you can play only at night. In online games consistently high latency. Mini PC time. Here is the internet speed in this chocolate bar with its native Wi-Fi module. The source of Wi-Fi is very close behind the wall. It's already 3 am, I really want to sleep but this box won't let me go so easy. I will start with something not very demanding, HD resolution locked at 30 fps. For some reason it's uncomfortable to play. Maybe it's mini PC slugs, maybe internet is slow, most likely both. I foresaw this moment and bought a USB Wi-Fi gun for it. It costs a little, but it's doing really great work in catching the internet. In general, the situation has become better, I even settled the settings to maximum and turned on RTX. I don't care, these clouds are not mine, because for what else am I paying money? In general, situation hasn't changed much. As you can understand, the cloud gaming requires not only a good internet connection, but also a computer that can handle a live translation in Full HD. But you still can pass the game like this. I bought Cyberpunk at a discount on Steam, for its money this is a great game. At its release the situation was very sad, incredibly high price, lots of bugs, but CD Projekt Red made a huge work, now game looks much better. I like it, just like the company itself. They have optimized the game so that I can play on high graphic settings with RX 588GB version of it. And it would be even better if I choose medium settings. Oh, I think I lose the theme. Let's calculate the budget of this game in PC. Chocolate bar plus Wi-Fi gun plus Cyberpunk plus GeForce Now. Too expensive. What if I ask my friend for an account with a Cyberpunk? Still a lot. Why do I need this Wi-Fi gun? In general, why do I need this computer? It can't even run Full HD video smoothly. Well, you understood the situation. For normal use of gay force, you need a computer that at least can smoothly run Full HD videos. Hope this video was helpful for you. Share it, press like button, subscribe on my channel, write comments that is very important. See you in the next videos.